you are welcome see today we are going to discuss about the refraction through lenses refraction through lenses now see in obstacles and also see here this is a lens which we placed here. this is a lens stand here you see in this lens there are two spherical surfaces on see two spherical surface a lens is a transparent medium bounded by at least one spherical surface this is another kind of lens this is another one kind of lens here also two spherical surface now what is the difference between these two lens here you see this lens two spherical surfaces bunched outwards like this this is the lens c if its edges thickness smaller but its end thickness more but for this one see this end is thicker than inner side like this now these are the two types of lenses the first one this lens is called convex lens and this one is called cave lens what is the difference between these two see in a convex lens two spherical surface so double convex lens or simply we used to say as convex lens here two concave surface so this one is double concave lens simply we used to say as concave lens what is the difference between these two in a convex lens it outer edges are thinner and inner side is thicker but in the case of concave its outer edges are thick and inner side is thin here two surface which are the part of sphere see if we consider this convex lens now we can complete this now see this lens this surface is the part of this sphere so it has got on center let it be c1 and similarly this when we complete it we get another sphere so this also another center c2 now these two are called centers of curvature these two are called centers of curvature of the convex lens similarly if we take here also two spherical surface and two sphere we can from the two sphere we take this concave so this one also has got a two centers of curvature on c1 and here another c2 will come now this is a term related to a lens that is a centers of curvature now we can draw an imaginary line passing through these centers of curvature and this imaginary line is called a principal axis that is uh, the straight line which is passing through centers of curvature is called a principal axis and it also passing through the midpoint of the lens this principal axis passing through centers of curvature that also passes through midpoint of the lens and it is called a optic center 
optic sender. This optic sender we use to represent with the letter O. Now, which are the terms, sir? Or this principal axis, sir? Optic sender. Now, these two terms along with the, we get a, another term that is, see, for this lens, this is the center, optic center. And this is the center of the lens, optic center of. And this one, we take an answer, center is of convection C1, here it is a C2. Now, when you consider this to a these two terms, sir. See, this is the spherical surface. This is the spherical transparent surface and also it is the refracting surface. This surface is called uh, this refracting and the spherical surface of this or is called uh, Aperture, but this called a aperture of the aperture of this uh, lens. Uh, that means uh, this refracting surface. Uh, the diameter of this refracting surface uh, is called aperture. Usually, we consider with a small aperture. Usually, we consider lenses of small aperture. Such lenses are called uh, thin lenses. But it is called a uh, thin and it is called thin lenses. Okay, now the text coming here is the what a optic center, principal axis, and a person. Now, see for this a light ray parallel to this principal axis, a light ray parallel to this principal axis. After refraction, it passes through a particular point on the principal axis and that point is the principal focus. And that point is the principal focus. A ray parallel, this is the principal axis. A ray parallel to the principal axis, principal axis of the cone makes a lens after refraction in lens. It passes through a point on the principal axis on the other side. And that point is called a principal focus. In this way, if now light ray is passing from left to right. So, if the light ray is passing from right to left, here also one principal focus is coming. So, this convex lens has got a two principal focus. How many principal focus are? Two principal focus for a cone vex lens. Similarly, for a concave lens also, there are two principal focus. One we can take as F1 and another only we can take as F2. F1 and F2. Now, one more thing you want to remember. The distance from C1, that means center of curvature to this optic center. And it is the radius of curvature. And it is the radius of curvature distance from center to center of curvature to optic center. That distance is the radius of curvature. That distance is called a radius of curvature. Now, where we used to see these lenses using in the spectacles, it will be using and also magnifying glass. And in some other case, we use this uh, button lens. Uh, now, the terms we discussed uh, here once again, which are the on principal axis, then optic center, then aperture, then coming to principal focus, and also radius of curvature. Okay, now see, we can go to another point. The names we discussed about uh, lenses are one is optic center, next one is uh, principal axis, third one center of curvature, then radius of curvature, focal length, and aperture. Now, 
We want to find out actually what is focal length. See, here is a lighted candle and this is a convex lens. And now I am going to hold this convex lens a large distance from this lighted candle. Now you can see its image is getting on the screen. See the image on the screen. How is the image which we are getting? Is it a smaller or bigger one? That image is very very small one compared to that light of candle. Here in this distance from now this lens to the screen is the focal length. We want to measure the length from this lens to lens to the screen. We will get it, it as focal length. To get it more accurately, if you focus this light from the sun to this lens and its image if we get it to the screen, then the object is very very large distance, then the image exactly will get on the screen as its focus. So the distance from lens to focus is the focal length. Now, this distance approximately we get as a 20 centimeter. Now I am going to hold this, this lens to more than 20 and its image, see, this image is now larger image. The image on the screen is large and when the distance changing, the position of the image and its size also changing, you can see here is the image on. You can change the distance from the object that is lighter candle to this lens or this distance. See here the image is getting and now the image is a smaller one and if the object and the distance to the lens are less than C, the image is uh, we getting as a uh, bigger image is getting. Now, we are going to discuss how the image is formed by the called Vex lens. See, at first, object at infinity. Infinity means a very very large distance. Then we want to find its position. That means where does we get an image? We know its image is getting at its at a focus. That means image we get a, where we get the image at the focus of the lens. Now it's a nature. Nature means uh, that image is uh, very very small than real and also image is in vector. See the image how it is getting, image will get us uh, in vector. Now the object is just uh, behind uh, C, that means center of curvature. Where we get an uh, image uh, we get image in between F and 2F, that means C, on the other side of the lens, where we place the, that means here the lighter candle you can see, here is the object, this side we get image, that means because of here also on focus, here also on focus, that means object is that side and image is here, so we say it has on the other side, that means when we place the object just behind the C or 2F, where we get image, image will get between F and 2F. That image is a small, that means a diminished real and inverted one. Now the object is we placed at C or 2F, C or 2F. Then where we get the image, image also get at 2F itself. That means image we get at 2F itself, then nature is same size, a real, inverted, these are the nature. 
Where we place the object now? Object at the C or at the two F. Then where we get image if the image is getting at a two F on the other side, not on the same side, on the other side of the lens. What are the other properties of that image if image is of same size? That means if the object is of two centimeter height, then image is also two centimeter. Then it is real in matter. Now we place object between F and two F. We are placing now object in between F and two F. Then the image is getting uh, on the other side after two F. Where we get image after two F. We get image that image also real inverted and large. That means uh, these are the image formation of a convex lens. Now we place a object at F. Where we placing object at F? Just before I showed when the object is at a particular distance, where we got image image at the focus. So here when we place the object at F, image is getting at infinity. Infinity means uh, very large distance. The image which we get as uh, that uh, image uh, actually we cannot uh, get uh, on the screen but uh, it will get uh, at a very large distance. Uh, so that image is uh, large in size than real and uh, inverted. Okay. Now one more case that is object uh, between F and uh, optic center of where we place the object now object is placed in between fo focus and optic center then the image we cannot get on the screen but we can see that image on the lens uh, that image is that uh, image is coming on the same side that means we cannot get really it on the screen but uh, we can see it on the lens, uh, then so the image is on the uh, same side, uh, it is uh, large, uh, but that image is not a real one, that means it is virtual, not inverted, but it is character. Where we place the object here, uh, object placed in between F and O. Where we get the image, uh, we cannot get that image on the screen, but we can see it on the lens, uh, then that image. Uh, Properties, uh, it is large, uh, not uh, real in that case, uh, it is virtual and uh, erect or not in water, erect. Uh, these are the properties of image formed by a convex lens. Once again, these are the positions of object, uh, these are the positions of image, and this is the nature of the image. When the object at a very large distance uh, that we used to say as infinity. Then image we get on the focus at the focus uh, real inverted and uh, uh, diminished to one. That means very very small in nature. Just behind F, yeah, just behind C means to F also. Image we get uh, F and in between F and to F, small, real, inverted. Then that is C or to F, image also to two F, same size, uh, real, inverted. In when we place the object in between F and the two F, when we get image, image is getting, image is getting at the two F. That means F and the two F means after two F we get the image. Where we get image after two F on the other side, after two F it is a real inverted large in size. Then at the F image will get at a large distance. So that image is large, real, and uh, inverted. Then F and O, O means optic center. That uh, image we cannot get on the screen, but we can see uh, it on the lens. It is also large, virtual, and direct one we are getting. Now, these are the image formed by a on lens. Lens. Similarly, see how these two lenses. Just before we discussed that there are two types of lenses. 
or how they means formation that we want to discuss this. Which lens is this one? This is a called vector lens. What this line is called? A, the line passing through center is so curvature C1 and C2 and optic center of it is principal axis. This C, this is a light ray. Here we consider a thin lens. These are the light rays. What is the properties of this light ray, sir? Is it parallel to this principal axis, sir? These rays are parallel to the principal axis, yes or no? These are parallel. See, these light rays parallel to this principal axis, sir. After refraction, this passes through this. This also after refraction. This also after refraction. This also, these are passed through this point on the principal axis. This point is the principal focus. And this light ray is converging here. So this convex lens also we used to say as a convex lens. Also we used to say as a converging lens. Sometimes it is uh, uh, can ask in this way why convex lens is called a converging lens. Converging lens because the rays parallel to principal axis after refraction in it passes through all of the rays parallel passes through a point on the principal axis so that lens also called a converging lens. Similarly, called cave lens. This one, see, this is its uh, principal axis sir, and this way parallel to principal axis is also a parallel. These rays after refraction in the lens, this goes through in this manner. This also travels in this way. But when we extended this one in the backward direction, this also when we extend in the backward direction, this rays appears to coming from this point or this point there, from this point, this rays appears to diverge. So, this called cave lens, called cave lens, used to say as diverging lens. This also called a diverging lens. Why? Because the light rays parallel to principal axis after refraction, it appears from diverse a point. Diverge from a point of the principal axis. So this one is called a diverging lens. This lens is also called a diverging lens. We discussed about a, how image formed by a convex lens. Now we are going to discuss about a image formed by a concave lens. See. Its objective the called cave lens. Here, if this concave lens, if the object is such a very large distance, if the object is such a very large distance, then the light rays from it is parallel. Okay. Then this way go and if it is return to here, here will come. So, if the object is at the infinity, image will get it. Where we get image? Image will get at F. What is F? Focus. What is F? Focus. If the object is at infinity, we get image at focus. Now it's the nature it is virtual image is getting this getting virtual and diminished and erect on is getting what is the if the object is at infinity where we get image image will get at f so image getting at focus image getting at focus then what is its nature? That image is virtual one. Highly diminished means very very small. Then 
We write it also. If the object is not at infinity but at a large distance, then the image will get in between f and o. If the object is not at infinity, if the object is now replaced there, not at infinity, then where we get image? Image position. Image position is between f and optic center o. It is also virtual. It is also virtual, diminished, virtual, diminished, and erect. Virtual, diminished, and erect. Virtual, diminished, and erect. Now you got idea about how image formed by cord cable lens and also cord vexed lens their position where we get image and its nature. Now to discuss about the, now to discuss about the more or the image formation we can represent by using ray diagrams by using what ray diagrams. Now we can discuss about the ray diagram. See, to draw ray diagram, we want any of two of the rays in the following. First, see, this is a convex lens. This is the principal axis. This is the focus effort on this side. And this is the focus F2 on the other side. F1 on this side and F2 on the other side. See, a light ray parallel to principal axis. This is the light ray parallel to principal axis of the cord vexillance. After refraction, it passes through principal focus. This we want to remember. While drawing ray diagrams. But a ray parallel to principal axis. This ray is parallel to this principal axis. See here it is refraction. See it passes through focus. Now what you want to remember about this sir? A ray parallel to principal axis after refraction passes through principal focus on the other side. That you want to remember in the case of corn vexel. But for a corn cave, see, this is a concave lens. This only is its principal axis, and here it's focus F1 and here F2. Now we can draw a ray parallel to principal axis. Now you know this will diverge this way. But when we extend it in the back way, we can see it coming from here. So, in the case of cord cave lens, a ray parallel, this ray is parallel to this principal axis. After refraction in the lens, appears to coming from the focus. Appears to coming from the focus. Okay? These two are rays parallel here through focus. Here also parallel but appears to coming from focus. That thing you want to know. Now see another point here. This is a cord. Excellence. This one is its principal axis. Now here on F1. Here another side F2. There are two focus. Now, a ray pa passing through this focus. See? Focus. After, here it will refract. Here, this ray will refract and uh, after refraction it becomes parallel. 
After a fraction, it becomes a parallel. See this thing. A ray, a ray passing through focus of a cone makes a lens and a refracting, then it becomes parallel. Okay. Now, in the case of cone, curve, lens, see, this is the focus, and here also one focus, F1, F2. A ray is incending on the lens towards its focus. That will refract here and becomes parallel this way. This things you want to remember when you draw red diagram. What are the things, sir? On a ray parallel to a principal axis. After refraction passes through principal focus. Second, a ray incident on the lens through focus after refraction becomes parallel. That happens in both cases. Now, another thing you want to remember is see, this is a called vexillance. This is a called vexillance. This one is its principal axis and this is a light ray. See, this one principal axis that is in this up one and here up two and this ray is sent on the lens through optic center. Through optic center that passes without any deviation. See, a ray is sent on the lens. A ray is sent on the lens at its optic center, at its optic center passes without any deviation. This is also happening in the case of cord cable lens also. See, this one is its optic center, ray incident here, and that passes without any deviation. Now, among these two rays, we used to draw ray diagrams. Among these two, which two? First, a ray parallel to principal axis after refraction passes through principal focus in the case of cone, vex, lens. And second one, a ray incident on the lens through focus becomes parallel after refraction. Third one, a ray incident on the lens on its optic center, it passes without any deviation. Among these three, any two of the rays we took to draw ray diagrams. Okay, now see, we can go through ray diagrams. First, we can place object at infinity. Object we are placing at infinity and it's a ray diagram we are going to draw. See, this is a chord vex lens. Now, we know this only is principal axis. This optic center, this focus F1 and this focus F2. Now, when the object is at infinity, Object at infinity, light rays from it parallel. So, this after refraction or passes through this focus or converges to this. So, the image is getting at the focus. Where is object? Object at infinity. Where is the image? Image at the focus and its nature real inverted 
diminished to real inverted and diminished image we get now the object we are going to place just behind to f again we can draw on chord of excellence this is its a uh, principal axis here f here also f here 2 f this we can take as one this f2 and here 2 f2 now the object is behind center of curvature or 2 f where the object object behind 2f object behind 2f see here parallel to principal axis we draw after refraction we know it passes through principal focus this way another ray we draw which is passing through optic center like this see these two meet here here is the image let a be object then here b dash and a dash is getting now object behind to f where where does we get image image we get in between f and to f that means image on the other side we get in between f and to f it is a real image is getting real inverted real inverted here the image also small image is a small is getting okay once again now the object ab is a, where behind to f where the image is getting between f and to f on the other side and it's a nature real inverted and small in size now now the object at to f see again a convex lens this is its a uh, principal axis this focus f1 this f2 sorry this 2 f1 that is twice here this side of focus we to pass f2 this is 2 f2 now object we place the here its name we can give as ab see here a parallel to principal axis this passes through focus and another one is passing through optic center like this these two meet here at the 2f itself see object at the 2f image also at the 2f on the other side image also at the 2f on the other side image also at the 2f on the other side of the lens it is also real inverted and same size that means uh, object and image size same both are same large here we place the object at the 2f where we get image image is getting at the 2f on the other side real inverted same size now we place a object between f and 2f f and 2f see here is a chord of excellence this is a f1 and this one is f2 so 2f1 here f2 here 2f2 now 
here is the object A, B. This is the way parent to principal axis. It passes through principal focus. Another one which is passing through optic center. See, these two meet at this point here. This this V is here, so this V dash, here is A dash. So AB is the objective, A dash, V dash is the image. Then where is the image is getting? Image is getting behind 2F, behind 2F on the other side. How is the image? It is a large, see, image is large, inverted and real. Large, inverted and real image is getting where is the position of image behind to your point on the other side? This is the rare area when the object is between where your point and to your point. Now we are going to place object at focus. At yeah. See where we will get image. Convex lenser. This F here also at the same distance F. An objective we place that to focus, see, like ray parent to principal axis after refraction, it like this. Another ray through optic center, see, these two rays now parallel. These parallel rays meet at infinity, and so image is getting at infinity, that image is a larger. A real and invert dot. Now we are going to place object. Now see one more things. This is a convex lens. This it's a focus f1. Here it is f2. Here two f2. Here two f. One. This is an object A, B. This O. Now, where is the object? Now, where is the object? See, object, position of object where? In between F and optic center. F and optic center. Object is in between F and optic center. See, a light ray parallel to principal axis and after refraction it passes through focus. Another one is uh, through optic center. These two will not meet here. But when we extended this in the back way, see, this appears to be meeting at the sub point here. This appears to be meeting at some point on the same side of the object. At the same side of the object. So, where is the position of image? Position of image on the same side. On the same side of the object. On the same side of the object. How is image? This is very large. Then we used to say as L large. Is it actually meeting? No. Appears to meet, so it is virtual. Image is virtual and erect. Virtual and erect. Now we draw, let me some red diagrams of image formation by convex lens. When the object is at infinity, when does we get image at focus? Okay, image diminished, real and also inverted. Then behind the 2F, where does we get image in between F and 2F? That image is also small, real, inverted and small in size. Then at the 2F, then between F and 2F, then at the F and this. Okay, the, with this, that means today we discussed about uh, refraction, refraction through lenses, 
there are two type of lenses on this uh, convex uh, what is actually lens a lens is a transparent media medium bounded by at least on spherical surface uh, transparent material transparent material bounded by at least on spherical surface is called a lens uh, then the tapes related to lens uh, that is its uh, principal axis optic center radius of curvature focal length and aperture then how the image is getting or formed by image is getting or formed by the lens such as cone wedge sir lens sir if we do this in the case of a cone we cannot get a real image sir then it's a ray diagram okay with this we can find up today's class up to this topic you will prepare for the coming examination okay